An artist from Brandon is making a name for himself one scanner at a time. Okay, that does sound like a very strange statement, but it is true. He's using those barcodes we see on everything like this book, Kitchen Confidential. There's a barcode, of course, on the back of that. He's using all of those barcodes to create some faces that you probably recognize. They literally are everywhere you go on every single thing you buy. Everything from purses to makeup pads. Well, there's lots of scanning. I can do that all day long. But have you ever seen barcodes used as art? Well, I'd like to introduce you to Scott Blake, a Brandon native who now lives in Omaha, Nebraska. He uses those barcodes found on products everywhere to create unique artwork. Like, in fact, this picture of Elvis, which is made up of nearly 2,400 barcodes, 29,400 pixels wide. All the barcodes from Elvis CDs. So I go on the Internet. I use sites like Amazon and Google or BarnesandNoble.com. I type in the word Elvis, and they give you all that UPC data for free. I mean, they want you to search. They want this stuff to be out there. So he takes the code, and then he recreates it. Then he creates unique pieces of interactive art. If you scan each barcode on Elvis's face, it plays a song or a YouTube clip. You can actually say that his artwork works. You know, when the, when the scanner beeps, it, it validates me. I feel like... Um, yeah, it actually works. Uh, Scott's been doing barcode art since 1998. He worked in an animation, in fact, on a couple of films, including Flubber and Spawn. Now he creates everything from barcode T-shirts, like the one he's wearing, to flip books to mugs. I'm a classically trained artist, so I, I, I took drawing classes, and I, you know, I painted Still Bowl, uh, Life's a Fruit. Um, but, you know, nowadays I feel like, you know, artists are using, you know, we're using computers to make art. And I think people that like art are going to appreciate the code that I write instead of, you know, how well can I handle a pencil. It's Scott plans well to continue his barcode career. You know, this is my legacy for sure. Is Scanning his way to the top of the art world. Desperately wants to get that Oprah barcode picture to her. Now, we did catch up with Scott while he was in town visiting his teacher at Brandon High School. He graduated back in the 90s there. That teacher taught him in a TV production class, and he actually credits Jim Fitzgerald with crafting him into the artist that he is today, the techno artist.